plain figures and solid figures. Good day students, welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you are going to learn how to visualize, describe, and identify the faces of the different solid figures and differentiate solid figures from plain figures. Let us begin! Let's go and have treasure hunt. Let's find out what's inside this treasure. We have stop sign, a piece of paper, handkerchief, and a compact disc. These objects represent plain figures. Plain figures are made up of line segments or curves or arcs joined together in a plane. A plane figure has two dimensions, which are the length and the width. And lastly, it has a flat surface that extends without end in all directions. Now let's learn some basic plane figures. The first one is a rectangle. A rectangle is a plain closed figure enclosed by four line segments. It has two pairs of equal sides, the lengths and the widths. Next one we have here, square. A square is a plain closed figure enclosed by four equal line segments. The next one, we have circle. A circle is a plain closed figure and closed by a curve having no sides and no corners. The next on the line is the triangle. The triangle is a plain closed figure enclosed by three line segments. Now polygons are also considered as plane figures. Here are some examples. We have trapezoid, rhombus, pentagon, parallelogram, hexagon, and many more. Now, let's move on to our next treasure hunt. We have here a sandwich, a ball, a can of soda, a party hat, a bar of chocolate, and a Rubik's Cube. These are examples of solid figures. Solid figures has three dimensions. It has length, width, and height. Now let's learn about the parts of the solid figure. First one is the edges. The edges are the line segments that meet or join together in order to create a figure. This object right here has 12 edges. The next one is the vertices. The vertices are the corners or the point where line segments or edges meet. In this figure, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 vertices. Next on the line is the faces. The faces are the flat surfaces of a figure. In the given figure, it has six faces. Next one is the lateral faces. The lateral faces are the flat surfaces that do not include the top or the bottom part of the figure. In the given figure, it has four lateral faces. Lastly, we have the base. The base is the top or the bottom part of the figure. This given figure has two bases. Now that you already know the parts of the solid figure, 
let's learn about the types of solid figure. There are two types of solid figures, the polyhedron and non-polyhedron. A polyhedron figure has flat surfaces, while the non-polyhedron figure has curved surfaces. Now let's try and classify these objects. The first one is a cube. What do you think? Is it polyhedron or non-polyhedron? Very good! It is polyhedron since it has flat surfaces. The next one is a cylinder. Good job! It is a non-polyhedron since it has curved surface. Next one, we have a rectangular prism. Yes, you are right. It is a polyhedron. Next one, we have pyramid. And it is a polyhedron. This time, we have a cone. And you are correct. It is a non-polyhedron. And lastly, we have Spear. Great job! It is a non-polyhedron. Wonderful! Now, let's learn more about polyhedrons. Again, polyhedrons are solid figures which have flat surfaces. First one, we have Prism. Prisms are polyhedrons that has two congruent parallel faces called bases. So we have cube, triangular prism, and rectangular prism, and many more. Let's talk about cube. A cube is a prism with square bases, and all its faces are square. Example of cube objects are Rubik's Cube, Ice Cubes, and a Box. Next one, we have a Rectangular Prism. A Rectangular Prism is composed of two rectangular bases and four rectangular lateral faces. Example of Rectangular Prism are a Book, Door, and an aquarium. Next in line, we have triangular prism. Triangular prisms are composed of two triangular bases and three rectangular lateral faces. Example of this are a chocolate bar which have triangular prism figure and a tent. The next one, we have a pyramid. A pyramid is a polyhedron whose base is a polygon and the lateral faces are triangles. There are different kinds of pyramid. A pyramid is named after the shape of the base. Let's take a look at some examples. Since this pyramid has a triangular base, this is called triangular pyramid. Next one is a pyramid which have square as the base. And this is called square pyramid. Our third pyramid here has rectangular base. This means this is called rectangular pyramid. And on to the fourth example, we have pentagon as the base. Therefore, the name of this pyramid is pentagonal pyramid. This means that if the base of a pyramid is a hexagon, it is called hexagonal pyramid. If it's octagon, it's called octagonal pyramid. And so on. Now, let's move on to non-polyhedron solid figures. Again, non-polyhedron solid figures are figures which have curved surfaces. Our first example is 
A cylinder A cylinder has two circular bases that are congruent and parallel. Examples are a can of soda and a mug. Next one we have a cone. A cone has one circular base. Example of this are ice cream cone, party hat, and a traffic cone. And lastly, we have the spear. A spear has no base or face because it does not have any flat surface. Example of spear are a ball, globe, and an orange. Wonderful! Great job students! What have you learned today? Comment it down below!